Okay, so this is M1 Mac and now you see the Windows 11 installed on this MacBook. So in this video, we are going to see how you can install free Windows 11 on M1 or M2, M3, M4 chip. So first you have to download the UTM. So search UTM and download it from here. So I already download and installed already on this MacBook. So you download and install. And then second, we need the second application which is available on the app store so open app store and then search crystal fetch so both application is free so this is the second application which is already i uh, download and install then it's open and now you have to download the firmware so this is windows 11 and 10 both option available so we are going to install windows 11 and then it will be 64 bit and apple silicon so now we just select the language accept okay so it's downloading i already complete the download so you have to finish it then we have to start the installation process so we have to open the utm first i already installed after install you can see the application on the application folder so there is the utm application and now we have to make a virtual machine so we click there and then virtual windows and now we have to select the uh, iso file and then continue and the ram uh, 4gb it's it's good and the cpu course will be default and then now you have to minimum choose 64gb that would be good to work and then no need to change and now you have to hit the play button okay so now you have to press any key when you press any button then it will go for setup process but if you don't click the uh, any any button then it's not appear so this is the first and last time you have to press the uh, uh, any button okay now we have to select the language okay get ready and now you have if you have any license then you, you can put uh, we don't have so i click the don't have option now you select home or pro we choose pro uh, sorry home and now accept now it's searching disk and we already select 64 gb so we just select and click next and now it's start installing and it takes some time like uh, maybe it's taking almost uh, 5 to 10 minutes I faster this footage cause the video will be longer if I show you the normal process so I make the footage faster okay so there will be rebooted uh, two or three times but don't press any button there will show to press any button but you don't press any button to installing the process if it's take time uh, on the booting then you just cancel and uh, press again the play button that's it so don't press any button and now just wait yeah that's it it's very simple process uh, the main process already you did now we have to wait and uh, wait for actually uh, complete the installation process the main things already you did okay so the windows logo appears and now you select your region you select the united states and then click yes skip here and now it's take some time to check the updates so wait some time but you can skip this part by 
uh, using a comment so that's not issue we are just wait to complete we don't skip that but you can skip sometimes it's uh, take two three reboots it's normal but you don't press any button because if you press any button then it will again uh, appear for new installation so we no need now uh, enter your pc name so it's an unlocker for me the next and then set a password four digit password again and now you have to security question add i just set my security question there is takes uh, two three minutes here and it's almost done yes so the utm setup is open after opening the windows so sometimes uh, some some users no not open the utm automatically so you can install it uh, manually no problem for me it's automatically appears on my pc then reboot after install you have to reboot but what if you don't show the utm installation automatically then you can install it manually just wait uh, after open my windows i see you so the installation process actually takes some time but next time uh, it will be smoother okay it's open i put my password and now you just uh, click the recycle bin double tap and then the scroll down and you can see the cd drive and there is the utm uh, tools so you can install it if you not appear if it's not appear after open the windows and then you can change the set uh, display settings you can change the setting what you prefer uh, but i prefer the old one which is by default set on my windows it looks good and now someone is actually mistakenly click there and after that the mouse cursor will lock so you just press control plus option together and the mouse cursor will be released and now you just eject the utm and that's that's it everything is working perfect now now you open browser uh, the windows browser is opening you can install any software you can do uh, the simple type of task from this uh, windows pc and it's totally free there is no need to pay it like uh, there have some different way to install windows but most of the tools are paid so you simply uh, close the tool and when you try to open just open the utm and click the play button and the windows will be open so this is very smooth process to install the windows 11 on the apple silicon macbook and uh, that's it thank you so much see you on the next video till then take care tada